Hello and a wonderful day, you Komodo dragon drink dealer. That was a better intro, wasn't it? I got, I got it finally. So here's the video that you all have been voting for. Over 1,000 people have been voting and participating in the poll, which, uh, let alone, is already exciting and really cool. Um, and as I am a good person, I did exactly the other video that you guys didn't want, <laughs> but simply because I got it ready already. Uh, never mind, you saw this two days ago. Um, but today we are doing something that you all have been asking for, for weeks actually. Like before the channel actually got a little bit more traction, you all were waiting for the third episode of Sketching the Zoo. So for, for those of you who are new to the channel, um, this is a little project I installed, I kind of created because of my ongoing hype to wait for Planet Zoo. And what I'm doing is basically I'm sketching a zoo um, from like birds perspective if you want as a black and white sketch in Photoshop there is nothing more about it I'm, I'm doing more like an actual architectural it's not even it's like a, it's like a plan like like an architectural plan if you want um, what you see from above and I'm trying to add a little bit of a uh, planning into it and what I want to do and what I want not to do and you know just getting a, a basic idea of what could be where and, and how to use it so what you're seeing right now is is the video of me doing a Komodo dragon exhibit. Now I must add that this exhibit is not potentially the most realistic thing on this planet because if this zoo would be located in, somewhere in a central European area or kind of in, in an area where the temperatures usually are not above uh, you know a, a an average of like 20 -ish degrees or whatever the Komodo dragons are more likely to live indoors. However Knowing that the game offers the heaters and coolers and stuff like that, I thought it might still be cool to offer them like a huge outdoor exhibit that is kind of artificially um, heated up, which I know is something that would never be done in terms of any realistic uh, power supply ideas and also energy-wise, resources-wise, that wouldn't be done. But the cool thing about the sketch, it's just giving me an idea of, of what I want to do. And so I'm, I'm not even too much into now bothering about the fact if it might be super realistic or not. I might, you know, I mean, I could uh, even go in and, and make this whole thing still a very gigantic dome if I want to. I don't, but I can't. I can't. I can't do it. You know, I can't do it. I could do it. Uh, anyways, but it's more about the idea of what they would need. And you know, at the end of the day, having now like three exhibits ready at this point, it may very well be also a zoo that is in a completely different location than Central Europe. It's you know not only because I live here that doesn't mean that the zoo has to be placed there. It could also be like a uh, South American or a Indian zoo or you know you know what a kind of a Mumbai zoo or something like that would be pretty cool in terms of maybe making also a bit of a um, kind of background scenery like creating creating like more or less like a billboard or whatever that looks like the uh, outskirts of Mumbai and just making it a huge ass city that, that would be also very cool anyways what we are doing right here is um, we are making the Komodo dragon exhibit partly a riverside thing so I decided to put a little river into my zoo so this river is going really cross this exhibit and so by having a river in here we also have some inclines and declines in this exhibit so it's very not flat out it's, it's really a bit more of a hilly area while uh, you see me opening Lumia stream which I'm so sorry that I have it in but it's taken from streaming and, and I, I just had some issues I cut most of it out but some of the things I just left in um, and it's pretty much crazily complicated to find all these spots because of the, the the way it's sped up. Anyways, you can see I'm also adding some trees here and there. Um, I wanted to try to get in some different trees. I, I used to draw the kind of trees in a way that they look more or less like a cat ball, uh, which they kind of used to suck or whatever, or, or chew, I should say. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, I, I just want to make sure, as you can see, this is more like the usual kind of tree bush uh, realization. But I thought I, I might also make some other tree things that look a bit more um, wider, um, because this could be like the acacia tree or whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm not even sure how this is pronounced in English correctly, but these more like uh, trees that are used to be in the area where the Komodo dragons usually live uh, because uh, in a zoo you always try to mimic as, as best as possible their natural habitat again not knowing where exactly this zoo would be located um, it, it could way more be like a, a thing that you know, is, is made up man-made and, and kind of a well it's all man-made but you know what I mean it's, it's like really um, 
and put in there in purpose or on purpose but it could also be like an area which um you know already features these kind of trees and they just left them in there for the komodo dragon i i don't really know we're gonna see in the in the future but anyways you can see that i'm using some lighter colors here to um show a bit more of uh, the hill size differences and of the height differences so what is the, i i try to make sure that you see it's going a little bit down we made this viewing gallery which is a bit overhanging into the exhibit um in a few bits you will also see that i'm i, I I left this in so you can see what I meant. I'm, I'm doing a little bit of an explanation to my to my people watching the stream actually. So this is why I have a little bit of an explanation uh, showcase in a few bits for you guys where I am doing uh, the side view, if you will. So this is the 2D view from a top perspective, the bird's perspective, but I also kind of try to mimic a little bit of a 2D side perspective to make sure that you do understand where exactly um, the incline and declines would go. Because if I would be to realize this later on in uh, Planet Zoo, which I could, you know, I could think that this is a very cool thing because this would the first time ever or would be the first time ever and this is by the way my little explanation so this is like the view from this viewing gallery as you can see i was trying to show that uh, the the whole fence and stuff was was just a little bit higher and stuff but yeah um i totally forgot to make it a, a separate layer this is why i needed to fix the issues as you can see i'm quickly doing that right here but yeah nothing special um the point i was just trying to make is i think the progress itself could be very cool to see how i did all the all the drawings and all the kind of um ideas behind it and then actually go into plan zoo and realize the exhibit maybe only one or two exhibits of my drawing maybe even good to do the whole zoo i don't know maybe i'm going to hand this over to you guys in in the community to do it i could also think that this would be a super insanely great community project um let me know in the comments down below what you think of this idea to make this a community project i don't know it, it could be a cool thing and then i'm doing a showcase of the creations of those people jumping in and doing it you could also like all collaborate on it just pathing um, the zoo around and make sure that you guys are helping each other and then we can jump into a voice and, and just talk about what you did and I can hand you over the different enclosures you can we, you, could, you know we could even make like a little bit of a raffle that you guys uh, can uh, vote for who is going to do what and whatnot I, I think this could be a f very cool idea the reason why I'm pretty easy on on maybe handing this over to someone else is mainly because I think I already have so many projects in mind that I, you know, dropping one of the projects to someone else is more than welcome. Just to make sure that I have also the, the spare time to do all the other crazy ideas that are currently uh, flying around in my head and they are desperately wanting to break out. They're even knocking on my forehead. So if I'm gonna have some headache in these days, it's not because I didn't drink enough or I'm feeling bad. It's mainly because of my ideas that want to break free, but they just can't at the moment because I... Uh, the doorway, which is actually the beta of Planet Zoo, is not yet opened. Uh, so it was a kind of weird metaphor, wasn't it? Anyways, I think you guys hope what I'm weirdly talking over here. Right? Uh, it's it's all not, you know, it's... I'm really, really, really hyped for it. But at the moment, I'm more like, God, I can't stand it. It's like, it's uh, the, the hype is actually doing the opposite right now. I'm like, oh God, I can't do a thing. I just, I, my life isn't complete. I need to have Planet Zoo now to to, li to live again. I, I need this to restore my, my drive and the daily, daily work. It's not that bad though, but it, you know, you could actually compare it with this one. Uh, so I, I want more content. I want more, I want more animals. I, I want to, I want to just freaking spend hours looking at the animals because they look so good. I want to make streams. I want to like live streams. Uh, I want to, I want to find some glitches and laugh about them. I want to, I want to just have fun with the game and, and finally be able to test how it runs on my system. I want to make sure that I, I can provide you guys, uh, a lot of great content i want to make like tutorials i want to make all the crazy stuff out there there's so much i want to do with the game uh once it comes out and once the beta is is here um and also in preparation of the launch later on this year um which again is is something i can't wait for because it definitely will be my main go-to game by the time and and i i'm not even sure if i will be surviving the time between the beta and the final release. Um, one thing though I want to mention is this one over here is something new. I wanted to make sure that we also have an idea of the visible area to make sure that these enclosures and our, our exhibits, I even left this layer in here that I they also have some privacy going on for our animals. Anyways, so this is basically the second major part of this um, 
time lapse. And the one I was most curious for because I love I love seeing these sketches uh, sped up. So I was I was doing a little sketch of the Komodo dragon, uh, which we've seen this week on uh, the. Uh, screenshots Frontier did release on the deluxe animals and I wanted to kind of use this as a basic uh, inspiration. It, it's not a carbon copy but it's it's like 99% from, from this image taken and then just try to make it in, in black and white uh, so we can see that this is the um, Komodo dragon exhibit. So I always wanted to paint uh, like to quickly sketch out the animals that live in this exhibit so you basically have an idea what I had in mind to put in here. Also very important to have the split the split tongue split tongue you know that's the that's the moment where I, I lose any ability to talk when I need to say split tongue uh, because I don't have a split tongue to to say it even better. Shall I repeat that again? No I shouldn't right okay uh, but you can see I I, I think the ma main the main uh, outline of this animal is already pretty cool but I did a little bit too much uh, detail on this one to be honest but it's when you're sitting in the stream and you do have the time to do it you always end up doing stuff like that it's <laughs> it's so weird I don't know to, to be fair this was one of my most chilled streams ever and I'm so glad that people seem to enjoy watching me doing this this painting stuff and then drawing stuff so if you guys into it let me know in the comments down below if you would love to see something like this in the future as well there will be another video about uh, me drawing something which is uh, a very fun story if you want to know about this check out the next video on this channel which will potentially be tomorrow or even today depends a little bit on how much uh, different content I will have and how I will spread them across the week because always like a bit planning going on so that I have enough content for you guys but just don't overkill you like last week <laughs> But last week was basically down to the fact that we had so much content that we could uh, prepare from uh, down to the embargo that we had. So we, we had like a good week of time to prepare the videos and that's why obviously um, I could release so many videos at one day. Um, it's, it's unfortunately not always the case. Like most likely I'm doing my videos a day ahead of the release or maybe two days ahead of the release if, if I'm planning went well, uh, which is most likely never the case. So <laughs> uh, it's most likely one day ahead and, and just when I got the time. So the, the, the episodes and the content is most likely ready already a bit earlier but doing the voiceover and preparing the video which always takes time uh, mostly happens a little bit later and always when I do get the time to do it. I mean having now the office that uh, allows me to talk at night is is one of the, the most important things that changed my life on, on doing this kind of stuff because now I'm able to do all the voiceovers whenever I want um, and I don't need to wait for a spare time when my wife is not here and not asleep <laughs> which which has been the the one problem over the past couple of yeah years actually but yeah so uh, we are nearly done uh, this is the Komodo dragon uh, font already in here actually the font it's just the name just the name written on there uh, yeah the last bit is just me finishing off the left hand side of this exhibit which um, yeah I think it's it's one of the more important viewing galleries on the other side of the um, enclosure I wanted to call it again with exhibit or the habitat damn I still didn't get it. Anyways, I will by, by by the release of the of the final game. I hope that I made this work. That I don't say enclosure anymore. However, I want to end this uh, commentary over here by thanking you all again for watching this video and also make sure to leave a nice comment in the comment section down below if you liked it and if you want to see more of it in the live stream. Uh, and just let me know down below which kind of animal you would love to see next. So see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful time and uh, stay hyped for this wonderful game, which comes out soon. Soon. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you appreciate that and now a special thanks also to all the people supporting me here on that channel, making this all possible. You can see that on the left hand side right now and also if you want to see more of my stuff make sure to click that card on the right top now and if you want to stick around make sure to hit that sub button which is on the bottom right of the screen. If you want to see stuff on my social media, sneak peeks and stuff like that it is on the bottom left on the screen and yeah I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then enjoy your time guys. And bye.